at least try to tell John the truth that Liam might be his son, preferably before Natalie becomes Mrs. Brody Levitt. Oh, come on, pick up. Pick up, pick up. Jessica, you did everything you could. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Well, maybe it's for the best. M maybe that test is a fake. Well, maybe it's not. And my nephew will grow up thinking that the wrong man is his father. All right, then we should, uh, we should go to plan B. Since when do we have a plan B? Since right now. We're going to sneak a sample of Liam's DNA. We're going to get it tested. We're going to find out and we'll figure out where to go from yeah, there. Yeah, well... Uh, that's what Natalie accused me of doing when I told her about Liam's paternity test, and if I actually do it... All right, listen. If John is the father, then Natalie needs to know. And if Brody's the father, then we need to know. I don't know. Wouldn't you actually rather have some real proof here? I mean, look at what happened when you tried to show Natalie the real test, and she just blew you off. And Brody, too. Yeah. Okay, right now, everybody's at the wedding. Nobody is home except for Liam and Nigel. So we just sneak in, we get a DNA sample from Liam, and we go and we get it tested, and we will settle this thing once and for all. So I just have to sneak into the nursery. Which happens to be Ryder's nursery, too. True. So here's what we do. We pick him up from my mom's house, we take him over to Landfair, we put him in his crib, you turn around, you snip a little lock of hair off. Oh, Liam, you give man. it to me, and we're just... Then we take it, we get it tested. And Nigel catches me, and Natalie hates me forever. Well, she hates you right now, okay? So, what do you got to lose? We still have to get a sample from John and Brody to compare it to. We'll figure it out. No. Uh, there's not enough time. I mean, if the truth is going to come out, it's going to come out after Natalie becomes Mrs. Brody Lovett. After all the trouble we went through with Ryder's paternity test, I know that you can't be appreciating the fact that I am dragging you into yet another giant Buchanan family mess. Honestly, Jess, I don't mind. You don't have to say that to make me feel better, you know. I wouldn't. Well, I appreciate that. But still, I know that you can't be enjoying this, and I'm sure right now you're thinking, somebody get this crazy lady no, away from me. No, I'm not thinking that. Not at all. Why is it so important for you to... You threw. You've really been there for me. It's because... What? Never mind. What? <laughs> no, no, it's... It's, it's just that I've, I've seen something in you ever since this... Tess. No, no, not Tess. How strong you are, Jessica. I don't feel very strong. Well, you are. I mean, you could have dropped this whole thing with Natalie and Brody, especially after the way that they treated you, but you didn't. I mean, you, you, could, have, you could have thrown those test results in the fire and said to hell with it. It occurred to me. Yeah, but you didn't. You went out on a limb to tell Natalie something that she needed to know, and she accused you of making the entire thing up, when all you wanted to do was make sure that she knew the truth. It was the right thing to do. Yes, yeah, so it was telling Brody. And the way he treated you... He made you question your sanity. And after everything you've been through, Jessica, that's... That's low. But you just... You just picked yourself up. I, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how... You... I've seen it up close. Mother. Daughter. What a wonderful woman you really are. What are you talking about? You're not so bad yourself, you know. <laughs> so you keep telling me. Well, I mean, when you think about how we started out, it's amazing, isn't it? You know? Now I think of you as, as a friend. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. You know, whenever I need someone to talk to, 
You're the person I call. I mean, you're the person I go to. You're the person that I... that I complain about all my problems to. Oh, come on. I'm sure you have plenty of friends no, that you can complain no, to. No, I don't. I mean, Kelly and Marty, they're gone, and my relationship with Natalie is damaged beyond repair. So, uh, right now... You're the only friend I have. You know, I, uh, I think we're kind of in the same boat. I don't really have that many friends either. Uh, you have your brothers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and don't get me wrong, it's been great to get to know them, you know, again. But ever since I've come into this town, I feel like I've had more enemies than I do friends. Well, I'm glad that we're in the place that we are right now. It's a good place. That is. I should go. I should go. Uh, Jess. No, no, I have to um, get home to my family and <sighs> there with Natalie, all celebrating her wedding to my ex fiance. <laughs> Not exactly something to look forward to going to. Is no, it? I'd avoid it if I could, but uh, I can't. So I might as well bite the bullet and go. Don't go.